Chinatown, a symbol of Chinese influence and culture. China's growing importance on the world stage can be seen here at this business school in Antwerp, where students can specialize in Euro-Chinese relations. And for Professor Zhang, the academic director of the Euro-China Center at the school, the growing power of China can no longer be ignored. It's difficult to, to be accepted by, I mean, Western countries. They used to be leaders for 100 years. Now they need to work with other new countries. It's quite, I think, quite a challenge for both sides. China joining the WTO in 2001 opened up Chinese markets. Trade volumes totaled almost half a trillion dollars with the EU. But accusations of unfair practices by China against European companies have led to calls for a more level playing field. Changes to public procurement laws are being discussed that could well force China to adapt its business environment to better enable global trade. But there are concerns over proposed changes. This signal to create a protectionist tool which only protects on the first side, uh, our European industries and which really doesn't help us opening up markets that would be uh, not a good instrument for the European Union. China has a much weaker institutional and regulatory environment than the EU and its economy is dominated by its own companies but change cannot happen overnight. For one MEP, Europe needs to adapt and understand China's culture better. If we don't understand that we have to restructure our economies in a way that are uh, uh, that it is benefiting the Chinese as well as the European Union citizens' uh, uh, standards, then we will not face uh, the future. The direction of the Chinese economy has uh, uh, shifted from uh, export to internal consumption, and this creates a lot of uh, possibility for European companies. The only issue is timing. A report by Parliament may come into force by June, but for now at least, the EU may have to find another way to meet challenges with its trade relations with China.